We are pleased, as always, to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Today, we've got a Week 13 matchup for you here between the Indianapolis Colts and the Los Angeles Rams. The calendar has turned to December, and we're in the home stretch now as we're underway in Week 13. And no run back here, so they'll bring it out to the 25. They'll run with Taylor to begin the drive. They'll wind up getting a yard on the game's first play and second down. Well, this defense for the Rams, they were very strong in the win last week over the Giants. No matter what coverage was called, they were right in the hip pockets of the receivers all game long, step for step, running their routes with them. Turned out they were right there every time the ball was in the air, and they came away with five interceptions in that one. Second and nine now. Now this will be swung out wide for Taylor. And I like the idea here. Get the ball in his hands, even if it's in the passing game. Three catches a week ago, and he does a nice job here to pick up yardage. So from the 36 now, first and 10. On play action, they'll throw. Oh, not sure he saw the linebacker there as that's batted down and incomplete. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time. Separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. He'll drop to throw. And that's going to be taken in by Ashton Doolin. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams' 44-yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. He'll let this go for the end zone. And he's got his target. It's caught for a Colts touchdown. And that looked almost to be a case of, you know, a quarterback saying, hey, I'm going to throw this as far as I can and hope you run under it. Mission accomplished. And we knew that this offense was going to try and put pressure on the secondary. That was something they talked about with us. They knew that they had an advantage, pressed it, and there you go. Big play for a touchdown on their very first possession. And that one, and even 60 yards in the air. Wow. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. They'll begin on the ground with Akers. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Charles, they won last week despite him not running the ball well. They told us need to get him going. Runs like that help. And they talked to us about leaning on him because, as you noted, last week they didn't have to. Still won the ball game. They leaned on other people to give them the yardage that they needed. But all right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Zach Cunningham with a pick. And he will bring it back. An interception return for a Colts TD. Well, we went from scoreless to 13 nothing in a hurry. First, their offense had the touchdown, and now the defense comes through with one. You can't get a better one-two punch than that. Off the touchdown offense by getting one on defense. If they keep that effort up, you'll take the other sideline out of this one very quickly. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. 
And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They've been outplayed early, no question. Down 14 0 already as they come up first and 10. Now a throw right side taken in here to start this drive. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a fourth. Good throw there to start the second possession. Maybe help erase the memory of the interception he threw first possession. Yeah, I think a lot of the time now there's a communication between the head coach, offensive coordinator, quarterbacks, coach. All right, we got to get him settled. It's not easy after you throw a pick six. You might want to just run the football. But I think in most cases, you want to give him easy throws, throws that he's comfortable with to get him going again. It's not necessarily just throwing one, one or two yards. What throws does he like to make? Give him a couple of those and get him going. Definitely looked like one he was comfortable with on the last throw. So five yards here, five on the play, and it'll be second down. They'll go with Akers here up the middle. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. On third down, Strickland got a man open. It's Tyler Higby. And he's going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. They'll run on first down with Akers. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. It's caught on the right side by Robinson. And they'll get him to the ground. And he has another first down at the Colts 42. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 at the 42-yard line. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. You're down early. How do you get back in the game, maybe establish the run? I think they're trying to do that. I'm with you on that one. And what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offensive coordinator, let's run the football, let's get things settled down a little bit and find our way back into this game. It's complete to Robinson. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. That one good for seven as this long drive continues and the chains move again. We see quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn it into a bigger gain. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Second down, they'll go with Akers again. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. an extra defensive back in there now on third down. Off the play fake. Strickland. He'll get this one to Cup complete. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. I tell you what, it looks like he's shaking off 
that pick six just fine. It's not just defensive backs that have, have short memories. Quarterbacks utilize that as well. A much more confident throw. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown Raiders. Cam Akers with his 14th rushing touchdown of the year. And the Rams have cut it back within a score. Extra point splits the uprights, and that'll make our score 14 to 7. This game back within a touchdown now as the kickoff's away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. As this offense takes the field again, it's been a while since they've been out there. We just saw that long touchdown drive by the opposition. But remember, when this crew was out here last, Charles, they scored as well. And let's make sure we give both offensive staff some credit, and especially the offensive coordinators, because we spoke with both of them in the lead up to this game, and both were really confident in their game plan. They felt like they had scouted their opponents and focused on specific areas in practice this week to make sure that they were ready to go. And frankly, it looks like they both did an excellent job. Yeah, we'll see if those game plans can keep this streak of touchdowns going here. Normally you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well. Incomplete. Steps away. Oh, and that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. Partner, what we're seeing so far is a defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. So now third and ten. They had the big play to start the drive, but two incompletion sets. to throw again. He'll drop this down to Taylor. And almost, but not quite. Needed 10, he got nine. Fourth down. That pattern and scheme was well defensed on third down. He tried to just sprint from one side of the field to the other, and they got it to him quickly. But no chance at yards after the catch there, and they stopped him short. Turn to Taylor on fourth. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. Brandon, fourth and one on their own side of the 50, and they decide to go for it as a former defender. I take that personally. I can't believe they let them pick that up. They should have swarmed the line of scrimmage and stuffed that one. Not surprised, though, because they told us about the supreme confidence they had in the O-line, and they were able to get that yard. First down, he'll drop to throw it. That's complete to his running back, Taylor. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, short tackle. He finds his man complete. It's Johnston. He had the touchdown on the opening drive. Now he's got a first down. First down, now back to throw. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. Well, that's a perfect example of how he was named NFC Defensive Player of the Week from last week's game. He is just all around the football right now, isn't he? That he is, and it's funny because I talked with the coaching staff about drills that they do in practice, and one of them is called matching hands. And as soon as that hand is launched by the quarterback, you throw up the opposite hand and match that hand with the QB. And oftentimes, you're able to knock it away as we just saw there. 
Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And they're going to move it down inside the 25. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. He finds his man complete. That's Johnston. And he is going to have a Colts first down as his defense unable to hold. It's a seven-yard gain there on third and two. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And that is caught. Touchdown, Indianapolis. A great effort there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Colts have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And it's now 21-7. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game, And they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive. So we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Officially nothing on that one, no gain. So they're left with still 10 to go on third down. Right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. To throw on third down, Strickland. Looking left side and it's complete. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. The Rams gonna go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. They give up the middle to Akers. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. They suspected it was a power play up the middle coming out, and boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. And this will be caught by his big wide receiver. And they'll get him to the ground, and he has another first down at the Colts 39. A solid gain of 15 yards in the sticks move. On first down, Strickland throwing left side here, and it's complete. Now the Rams are signal for a timeout, their second, as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going, and right now it's paying off with big chunks of yardage, as shown by that last play. Throwing on first down, Strickland. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Uh, with a rookie quarterback out there, you're definitely going to find out how he handles adversity because this one so far hasn't gone according to plan. He's got to fight through it and show him what he's made of. Again, he'll drop to throw. 
And that will be incomplete with a clock showing 18 seconds now to go. That's a big course in completion there to bring up third and long. And this defense can still salvage a little momentum by forcing them to kick a field goal. Because just a few plays ago, they looked like they were headed towards the end zone. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Looking to throw. Strickland. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Picked off by Julian Blackman. And the Colts are going to take over at their own 13-yard line. A tough adjustment to the NFL throughout his rookie season. And his problem with turnovers is only exacerbated by his early showing today. That's a couple for him here in this first half. And he's cleared the double-digit mark for the entire season. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And with a two-score lead already, they may just look to get this thing to the locker room. And he's got Pierce. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Call that a very strong gain of 24. They'll look to throw here. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Certainly no lack of aggressiveness here. They were hoping for the home run play to get them six points. They're hoping for a catch, maybe a call. But they figure they can at least get into field goal range with a completion. They'll throw now on the final play. And he's going to go down. Couldn't get a throw off with the pressure. Maybe that was for the best. As that brings us to the end of his first half of play. So we come to halftime here with the visiting Colts taking the lead to the locker room. As we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Charles Davis on Brandon Glenn getting set for quarter number three here. The Rams set to receive the second half kickoff and they trail here as we resume play. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. Now Akers to start the third quarter on the ground. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. To throw on second down. Strickland. He'll get this to Akers out of the backfield. It'll be a gain of five. And now it's third and three. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back and it could turn into a big gain downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short gain. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. I'm sure it was a tough halftime trying to figure out some strategy to get things going. Trailing by a lot when they went into the locker room. He's just trying every avenue to spark his team here to begin the third quarter. Not a lot going on on that play, though. This is brought in at the 21. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. So a 56-yard punt, they'll net 41 after the 15-yard return. And the Colts will go on offense here, first and 10. The Colts come to the line, ready to start their next drive. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. The quick throw knocked away, it's incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no game. 
And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Johnston. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. 23 yards the pick up there. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, go to a zone blitz scheme. And you can drop anyone. Touchdown, Colts! A great play there with his third touchdown of the ball game, number 12 on the season. And the Colts take a three-touchdown lead. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. We'll see a return here from the end zone. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. At their own 31 yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. And the Colts are going to take possession of the football. Certainly not what he was hoping for, Charles. That's now three interceptions in this ballgame. But there's a lot of knowledge to be gleaned every time you throw an interception if you do things the right way. And hasn't there been a pretty darn good quarterback along the way who threw a lot of interceptions early, learned from them, and became great later? Who would that be? That'd be one Peyton Manning threw 28 his rookie year. That's the NFL record. How things turn out for him? I think, okay, he's a guy in all the commercials now. <laughs> yeah, I think he's doing okay. Second down, another run with Taylor. And some nice running going to get him down close to a first down at the Rams 34. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Touchdown, Indianapolis! Jonathan Taylor, his 17th touchdown now of the season. And the Colts take the force turnover on defense and convert it into six points. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And that'll increase their lead to 28. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, it's, let's just say it's been unusual. 
We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. On third down, Strickland. The defense gets a hand on it, but he still grabs it. That catch for his career is number 589, so 11 away from 600, but it also right now ties him with Hall of Famer Fred Beletnikoff. I remember Fred Beletnikoff well because of the way he went about his business in catching the football. And we're seeing something similar. The Colts are going to get him. Down he goes. Dropped for a loss of seven by multiple defenders. But defensively on the previous play, they gave up a pretty good chunk of yardage, but right there, they got a good portion of it right back. And if we just flip it around from the offensive perspective, took a nice step forward, and how about a couple of leaps backward? And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. And the Colts will take over here just shy of the 30. Well, let's face it, Brandon. They're down here in the second half. Want to try and make something happen. And if you're the guy with the ball in your hands, you're going to try even harder. Because I think all he was trying to do was to get outside the pocket and see if he can find a big play downfield. Going for the deep ball. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. When you look at the scoreboard, you'd think they'd be pretty comfortable right now with this lead, but these guys are absolutely not going to let up. They want to increase their lead, and they want to do it with a big play, unable to connect in that attempt. Now a throw here to his running back. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Good yardage there for the Colts. 18 and a first down. The partner is still in the third quarter, but they've got this one well in hand and still airing it out with gusto and picking up some nice games. And even in lopsided games like this, you don't really see starters get lifted or the foot come off the gas before the fourth quarter. No one wants to leave any doubt when they're playing well. They just want to continue the process. Three quarters have come and gone. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 down at the 33. Again, it's Taylor. And he'll get this just inside the 30-yard line. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Nowhere to turn here, and he's going to go down. Back at about the 37-yard line. Justin Houston in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. He has some real defensive resistance there, saying not so fast to a good drive. They had marched to the end zone the last time out. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. The CD, they're up big, but they're still passing it. I mean, this is an offense that's had a lot of success in this game, and it seems like they're just having fun out there. And it does feel like there's been a shift out there, doesn't it, partner? Listen, if you're up, you can continue to do what you want to do. It's up to the other team to make you change how you do things. They'll continue to throw it around until stopped. He finds Pierce, it's complete. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. Wow, first and goal, and defensively, all they can do is shake their heads. Not only did they allow the conversion, but a big play as well. Oh, how about this on first and goal? And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. It'll be a three-yard pickup, and it brings up second and goal. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there. All 11 guys on defense diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. They'll run the toss here with Taylor. And he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. 
Were you as surprised as I was that they actually ran it on second down there? I thought that they would go ahead and throw it in every situation here. <laughs> They've thrown for three touchdown passes. Now here, I think they probably go back to the air. Yeah, I think so. But ordinarily, second down is when you run your... And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Jonathan Taylor. His second TD of the game and 18th of the year. And the Colts add on to their lead, and they are also closing in on a fifth straight victory. Well, when coaches come into a game preaching total team effort, CD, I think this is the type of ball game that they're dreaming of. It was pretty apparent early on that they were clicking in all three phases. It's, it's been fun to watch. Yeah, sometimes in the NFL, you end up with matchups like we've been watching here. And when you go back to the early drives, you can just see that one squad was on a different level in this game. Safe to say, we haven't been disappointed in watching their execution throughout this contest. Matt Gay is set to kick off. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. Very short kick taken right at the 20. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21 yard line. At their own 21 yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You'd have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. Be yeah, absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And they hit him as he throws, as this one's going to go straight down to the turf. Incomplete. No luck for the Rams as they fail here on fourth down. And the Colts are going to get the football in outstanding field position. First and 10, Taylor now. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front. Because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. They run once more with Taylor. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. 102 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. Take a knee. Second and goal from the six this time. Take a knee. Right. 
And now can they reverse the trend on third and goal with the last two plays having gone backwards? The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just 70 seconds left to go in the game. Third and goal as they look to pour some more salt in the wound. They'll try and run Taylor, and he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Only able to pick up a yard, and that's going to leave him with a long fourth and goal. You know what? I know it's fourth down, and they've got a big lead, but go for it. Yeah, and why not, right? Because they have the big lead, but don't you have to have a little bit of admiration for these guys on the defensive side yeah. of the ball? They've been shoved around this entire game, and they're making a nice goal line stand here. It would be fun to see them stop them. On oh, they flip it to the kick. He looks like he's going to throw it. They pass up the three, fake it. It doesn't work. And the Rams are going to take possession of the turnover on downs. And sometimes pride wins, doesn't it? Because, yes, they're getting steamrolled here right now. They're down big, and they're going to try a fake field goal against them. Yeah, I'm not supposed to root, but good for them for stopping that one and showing that they haven't given up on this game. Yeah, I just can't believe, though, that they tried the fake with this wide of a margin up that big. But like you said, kudos to the D. Yeah, if the blood wasn't bad before, it, it might have started that way now. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Well, CD, it's all window dressing at this point. I mean, the best they can do is end the game with a nice drive to maybe build some momentum to move forward into their next contest. Yeah, with how lopsided this game has been, even one score might not do a lot of cosmetic good on the scoreboard, partner, because it's just about looking forward at this point. Get a touchdown here, give yourself some positive momentum and reps to focus on when you get back to practice in the next couple of days. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second. As they stop it with 14 seconds to go in the game. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder what plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves, but they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week, trying to get some momentum going. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. So line of scrimmage still the 39 on second and 10. They'll look to throw again. This is caught by Robinson. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts 42. And as this defense walks off the field, they can't.